my gosh, look at this place. This is our first look at Kazakhstan. I'm so glad we get to see this because I don't think it's very often that you would come across one of these buildings. What a place to be stuck. <laughs> Are you ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> We're all packed. It's only just kind of gone on our radar this year, but we've always wanted to go and visit the stands. It's a really untouched region of the world and one we've been desperate to get out there. So today, we're flying to Kazakhstan. <laughs> Quite a unique travel day ahead of us. First of all, we are flying on an airline we've never even heard of before called Belavia Airlines, and our layover is in the city of Minsk in Belarus. <laughs> What's it's today gonna bring? Ending in Almaty, Kazakhstan. <laughs> So the Munich airport has these super comfortable waiting areas, but I think our plane has just arrived. Oh, that's the oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Ready to go to Belarus? Let's go to Minsk. It's really fun to name to say. <laughs> Belarus, Belarus. I feel like we need to go visit it now. I Next know. time. If you've ever been to Minsk, let us know. Minsk. First on the plane. No, oh, second. Third. Well, why are we in the section? <laughs> so, for some reason. We had no idea. But we got upgraded into the. Is this business? We're not sure because we didn't look into it to well, the point that we were literally walking on the plane and we're like, seat four, that is us. The seats are so nice in the section, but it's funny because it's business, so maybe this might be a low cost airline, I'm not sure because they're screening. Do you reckon he upgraded us because he really liked our passport? <laughs> I love Australian passports, really cool with the kangaroos. You like it? <laughs> yeah. I'm not too sure, he wasn't excited over the kangaroos, wasn't he? He was. <laughs> But also there's, it's quite an empty flight. Yeah, so maybe he was just nice. I don't know, because on the next flight, we're not upgraded. We see like 20 on the next flight. But at least for the two hours to Minsk, we get to enjoy business. Welcome to Belarus everybody, just arrived in Minsk, had a very nice and comfortable business class flight over here. Still have no idea why we got it, but we just found out that Belarus is part of the Russian Federation because we had to go through some very vigorous passport controls before we finally got into the airport. But this is all we will see of Minsk. We will add it to the bucket list because next stop, flying to Kazakhstan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alrighty, Bobs. That was kind of a simple travel day. So now we're jumping onto our second flight, three hours, and we Kazakhstan. Except there's a four hour time change. So we land at 11 pm Germany time. That's like 4 am Kazakhstan time. <laughs> Little bit to jet lag. We'll see how we go. Morning, guys. It is 5 am and we've arrived in Kazakhstan. We're just catching a cab to the hotel, but we are sleepy and we really want to explore today so I feel like we're gonna go and catch a couple of hours sleep and then go and explore our Mati. So after our long journey here to Kazakhstan, we finally arrived in Almaty and met up with our group. We're going to be traveling with a small group here for the next five days. But we all just jumped straight into the bus, even though we had had, what, a quick nap for an hour and drove out <laughs> all the way to Elton Amel. This is the small little village we're currently in and I've just seen one person walk past us. <laughs> But 
we needed to fight this jet lag, so what we did was we headed out to the national park, to the Alton Amal National Park, and we saw one of the iconic spots there called the Singing Dunes, which are these incredible sand dunes situated between two mountains and a river. Oh my gosh, look at this place. This is our first look at Kazakhstan. It is like no terrain we've ever seen before. You can have a look, there's just flat lands with these little pockets of grass. You've got this mountain range just in the background. There's just a camel out there. Cam and the clouds are so low. It's amazing. It's like a picture frame. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we've just made it to the first bump on the sand dunes. And we're already seeing such amazing views. That's our final destination. If you just have a look at all these different ecosystems, we've got the mountains, the sand dunes, and right over there is the river in this perfect triangle. So the way that the terrain is placed, the wind causes these dunes to be formed. And if it's a very sunny day, unfortunately it rained today, you can be walking up the dunes and you can hear them singing. We've heard it's such an incredible sound. We're not getting at the moment, but that's okay because the views are still worth it to come up here. And I'm just in shock because this is not what I was expecting day one here in Kazakhstan. We're up when we should sleep no better company I keep. So we've come to the peak of the dune and I can feel the wind coming from one side and the other side and that's what makes the dune peak. But it is so beautiful up here and very puffed out. <laughs> it's been a long travel day. <laughs> And I think by the end of the day, we were getting quite delusional. Oh my God. <laughs> now we've had a full 10 hours sleep at least or more. And it's the next day and we have a full day planned of activities to show you guys around this beautiful country. So we've just come back into the National Park this morning and we've come up to a spot called the Turtle Mountains. And from what we've seen of Kazakhstan, especially here in the southeast, is that this is a terrain that we're really not familiar with. Just looking out here, it's very just barren, just a lot of just straight lines. And then you have these pockets of mountains. So it's really unique just driving through this terrain. But it's first thing in the morning, you're going to go for a little bit of a hike around the Akdal Mountains. I mean, this is a perfect example of what we're currently seeing. Are we on Mars at the moment? Really getting those vibes, especially with the colouring. Jess, your hat perfectly fits the vibe that this place has given off. Trust my eyes when I smile There's nothing behind them. My heart from the This is kind of a cool way to start our morning. You don't see that view every single day. We're having buckwheat and veggies in the middle of nowhere. It's a local dish called Gretcha. And uh, what a spot to have lunch. <laughs> so we've just stopped off at our next spot. We're currently making our way towards our hotel. So we're doing a bit of a road trip through the country. But we've just stopped at a city called Jarkent. And before I show you this unique mosque that we're currently at, I thought I'd tell you where Kazakhstan is because I think it's a very good question that most of you are probably thinking because until we started looking into the stands or Central Asia, I'm being honest with you guys, I didn't really know where Kazakhstan is. So the easiest way to picture it on the map is it's just above India and it's just below Russia and China is just to the side. So it's kind of smack there. It's also a humongous country. So yeah. That is where we are in the world at the moment. So, if you have a look here, 
You're probably looking at it and thinking, Stephen, you said you're at a mosque. This obviously looks like a Chinese religious building. I mean, there are mosque elements here. But I mean, to be honest, this looks like it's straight out of China. And that is because this is a very rare occurrence. This mosque is built in a Chinese style very rare because currently in Kazakhstan we are right next to China and the architect came over here of course it's an Islamic building built with a Chinese style so I'm so glad we get to see this because I don't think it's very often that you would come across one of these buildings this is currently a museum so it's not in practice anymore but we just walked into the grand hall room oh wow all made out of wood Well, there's so many days. So you just pulled over the car because we have found a pack of camels perfectly just placed here in front of the mountain. There's got to be at least a couple dozen of the camels just out here. Years into a simple song. We heard something was wrong with the tire, but oh, that is hot. That is like, hot? it's gone. Wow. You can smell it. What a place to be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> My hands ache from holding on. Just come into our hotel for the night. Who gets the duffel bag? Oh, this place is massive. And bags as well. Well, if we're going in full Kazakh style, we need to sleep separately. <laughs> yeah, it seems like that. In every hotel, we always have two beds. Well, this is a rug my mom would love. <laughs> is so epic look it's like turning all pinks and stuff oh wow it's actually been so nice we haven't had sunsets for a while because in the mountains in germany it's been super cloudy that's so nice this area is actually quite famous for their hot springs and each hotel here has made a pool out of the underground hot springs and we've heard that it gets up to 70 degrees so there's a hot one and a cold one so you kind of like jump between because it gets too hot but i think that is the way we should end our night. I think there's a pretty good way to end our second night here. The hot springs are just down there. So it's the natural hot springs, but of course they've just put a pool over the top of it. So we are in our lovely roads that they provided for us. We're going to the hot spring and these are cute shoes. <laughs> and I think they may have left a red sock in the, in the washing, washing machine. <laughs> Okay, so let's see how hot this thing really is, because people say that you're, you usually can't stand it for more than five minutes. So let's test this. It's really hot. Really? Okay, that is hot. Are you ready? Yeah. Really? It's really hot. Oh. Gosh, it's like boiling water. I'm sweating. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I like a spa, but there's a limit. I feel like that's what you're meant to do. You're meant to go into the hot water and then into the cold water. And then you keep going back and forward. But look um. at this. It's like a... It's like the biggest bathtub tub in the world. That's what it feels like. Yeah, that is perfect. <laughs> with um, nice mood lighting. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that first little look here in Kazakhstan. We've definitely been surprised over the last couple of days that we spent here. And I think we might do another video here in the country. There's a lot more to show you guys. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.
I mean, this is a reason to chuck Kazakhstan on your bucket list. We've decided to have a little cute romantic afternoon. They've given us some cute... Um... So these are going to be our transportation to get us up to the lakes. <laughs> 